Hello and welcome back to Bug Realms. On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly, so if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. So guys, do you remember this enclosure? The boring but beautiful one. The one where I featured dairy cow isopods, to be living with Madagascan hissing roaches, like this one. Now what I actually popped in were what I thought to be the isopods, these adults, some very small nymphs and some juveniles. But I woke up one morning and boy was I surprised because in this enclosure was sitting a newly freshly molted mature massive massive cockroach. And it clicked to me. I picked up some roaches at a past show and I couldn't remember the name of them. I'd forgotten to write it down. I could not find the cellar. But I did say to you that you'd be impressed when they've grown up. Oh, well, you're about to be if I can find this roach in here now. Now, I asked some friends to try and ID this roach for me and they believe it to be what I will place up here. Now, I cannot pronounce that, so for this video, we're gonna call it the peppered roach because that's its common name. If anyone thinks I'm wrong, in it being this peppered roach, or the name you saw above, then please let me know in the comments below. Now I'm gonna to have to rummage through here because these guys do like to burrow as well. So uh, it might take a moment, but let's find this awesome roach. And if you think those Madagascan hisses are big, you wait till you see this beast. So you can see inside the enclosure now, and see how well they're doing. We've got these baby nymphs here. Now these are the Madagascan hissing roaches. Now I cannot find this gigantic roach anywhere, so bear with me while I have a search. I'm reckoning it's under this massive log, so prepare yourselves. There's a lot of movement under this soil here. There it is, we found it. My God, my God. So here is a giant hisser. Come on, stop being stroppy. Ah, oh, it's running away. Giant hissing roach in comparison to this beast. Oh, it's slippery. Ow. Here. Look at the size difference. It is bigger than a Madagascan hissing. Look at that. I'll try and get some better shots for you. There we have it. Our peppered roach. And I actually found the other juveniles buried under that log. Oh, come on, dude. You're not going to give me a shot, are you? Dropped him back. This guy can get away from me so easily. It's got to be the slipperiest roach I've ever tried to pick up. But I'm guessing their common name of peppered roach is by the wings there. Now, if my research is correct, these guys don't actually fly, or if they do, they seldom do it. And, as I said before, they prefer to burrow, which is where the rest of the juveniles are. And I'm curious to see how many more of these pop up. Here's a little shot of the underside. Now, watch this, guys. This is how they burrow into the soil. They just push and push until they're buried. This one's obviously feeling a little bit safe, sat here. See if we can find those other juveniles, because they were also there. Ah, oh, the leaf is in the way. There, there, there. There it is. That's one of the juveniles burying himself down below. As soon as the light was on him, he didn't want to be seen. And that's why this one's come back out. But I tell you what, it's beautiful for a cockroach, right? Now I read online these are great for beginners. I wouldn't recommend it just purely for the fact that if you wanted to handle them, 
especially children. Look how difficult it is to grab one. Look at that, he jumped. But imagine waking up and not expecting to see this, not having a clue what it was. There we go, managed to grab it again. Look at that. That is incredible, right? Ah, at least we had a little look at its underside for a bit. Creepy, right? Who knew roaches could look so alien? Now, it hasn't even flapped its wings, which I would presume was a defence mechanism, maybe? Maybe I'm wrong. I'm no roach expert. What I can tell you is it doesn't like this light. So if you know anything about these peppered roaches, please drop me some comments below. Give me some husbandry tips, and I'll see what I can bang together for these guys. Or perhaps they'll be okay living in here. There's plenty of room for them to do the burrowing. Trying to get a decent side angle shot for you guys. But I'm struggling to do so properly. Wow. Uh, let's jump back in. Now I think it's the last time I'm going to handle this roach. I'll leave it to settle. I've probably stressed it out quite a bit. And I've also disturbed the home of the others and the dairy cow wood lice. But wow, man, look at it. Awesome black splodge on the top. The peppered wings. And it truly is a monster as well. So, if you want to see what else dwells in the realm, make sure to pop back weekly for multiple videos. And yeah, I'll let you know exactly what happens with this little colony. I wonder if we can breed him. Again, any breeding tips? Pop it in the comments below. Now, I'm sorry if this video is boring to some, just showing off a massive cockroach, but uh, I thoroughly enjoyed making it. So I'll see you next time, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Roach bundle! It's a roach and woodlouse party. Roach and woodlouse party. Roach and woodlouse party. See you later.